Hi, I'm Candace from WS Tyler. You're probably watching this video right now because you think it might be time to replace the hammer block on your Rotap sieve shaker. In this video, we'll give you what the warning signs are that it might be time to replace the part, and we'll give you guidance on how to do it. You'll know it's time to replace the hammer block when the hammer is no longer securely in place. In order to perform an accurate sieve analysis, the hammer should only move in an up and down motion. With that being said, if the hammer starts to sway, it's time to change the hammer block. Replacing the hammer block. Remove the pedestal cover. With a half inch socket or hand wrench, remove the hex head screw and lock washer located inside of the tower just below the hammer block assembly. Remove the small set screw located at the top of the hammer with an Allen wrench. Using a punch, tap the hammer pin out of the block. Remove the hammer from the block. Set the hammer into the new hammer block and tap the hammer pin back into place. Replace the small set screw in the hammer and hammer block assembly. Replace the hex head screw and lock washer inside the tower, securing the hammer block to the tower. Replace and secure the pedestal cover. If you have any questions or concerns about performing the maintenance on your Rotap sieve shaker, you can call us at 1-800-321-6188, email us at info at wstyler.com, or you can fill out the form on the Contact Us page of our website. If you'd like to learn more about our Rotap sieve shakers, we have a learning center that's full of content designed to help you become a particle analysis expert. Just click the link in the video description. To keep up to date on all things WS Tyler, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. Until next time, I'm Candace. Have a great day.